Episode 37 wow. of the Doom Gorham Report, brought to you by the guys from Doom Gorham's Horror Emporium. I'm Happy Wax. I'm Max Master. This is uh, this Chernobyl is Jimmy. Chernobyl Jimmy. <laughs> and we got. Chuck Norris. <laughs> and tonight's uh, show is on a uh, recent film that we went and saw, which technically isn't horror, mm -hmm. and it's not really sci-fi, no. but it's kind of fantasy, so we, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll put it in there. It is a cult, though. Yes, anyway. and there's, there's a troll in it. So there's trolls in it, and it's a, monster. a creature feature. Sure. So it is none other than Snow White and the Huntsman, mm -hmm. believe it or not. We went and saw it, and uh, it's by director uh, Rupert Sanders. Okay. And uh, we've got uh, in the cast Kristen Stewart as Snow White, Miss is it True Blood or so? Twilight. Uh, Twilight, that's it. Uh, Charlize, uh, Charlize Theron, who's been really busy lately, as uh, Ra Ravenna. She's beautiful. Yes. Uh, we got Chris Hemsworth as the Huntsman. Uh, Sam uh, Claflin. Claff, Claflin. Oh. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Sam Claflin as William. And uh, Bob Hoskins as Muir. Really? It yeah. was Bob Hoskins? It was Bob Hoskins, yeah. I like him. Yeah, I thought it was him. I didn't know that, because you don't really see him. You no, just hear his voice. Yeah, it's kind of so. Cool. But uh, anyways, uh, shall we check out the trailer? Okay, I already got my gogs on, so we're yes. good. All right. I will get mine on. All right. Jimmy? All right. She of such value. That is none of your concern. And if I refuse, lips red as blood, hair black as night. Bring me your heart, my dear, dear Snow White. Men and women were men and women. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like this movie. So did I. 
It was uh, it was quite a surprise. Getting Ooh. in the left field there. I gotta get air conditioning for that mask. Oh. It was way too hot in there. Yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Have to say so. Oh yeah, it was a good movie. I uh, I went in uh, not really knowing what to expect, but I think we both left quite. Uh, I, you know what? This had the battlefield vibe. We thought it was both gonna suck, and we both left. Loving it. Battleship. So. Battleship. Battleship. Sorry, yeah. yeah. It, uh, we talk about that movie a lot. I know. You should see that movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it because it is good. But it's, tonight we're talking. It snuck uh, up on us. Yeah. So Snow White. But uh, just like Snow White snuck up on us. Yes, it did. Yeah. Or she did. Uh, I like this movie. Yeah. I didn't like the uh, the dwarves, but I like this movie. So I didn't. Mm. I'll tell you why I didn't like the dwarves because you could tell that they were just normal people like you and I shrunk down to fit into the. They didn't have dwarfism to them at all. It was awful. So, but other than that, this movie was really good. Yeah, you know what I mean. That was the only bad thing that I didn't really care for. I think uh, I think they did a really good story in uh, taking it, well a, a really good job taking the story of Snow White, which mm -hmm. is kind of a kid's fable or fantasy, you know. Yep. And putting, I mean, it's a dark story, really. Anyways, even the Disney version is yep. dark because you're talking about you know. A witch stealing someone's youth or whatever, but the fact is, they they did a really good job making it just a little more mm -hmm. dark and a little more uh, acceptable to a wide audience of uh, moviegoers. Mm -hmm. There's and a lot of uh, fairy tales that are dark, anyway. So yeah. this is this is probably yeah. not too far off from what it really should how it should be yeah, told. Yeah. Really, <laughs> I mean, it was great. I mean, the uh, yeah. the whole you know the way uh, Ravenna, the the evil queen, kind of works her way in there and. Mm -hmm shows up with phantom armies and you know i mean mm -hmm. some really cool stuff there uh the the you know there was always something going on lots of good there's some good fight scenes some good battle scenes in there so the uh, the the uh, acting was pretty good i mean Charlize their own uh, when she's when she started getting angry and, yeah. and screaming at the I, I thought man like is that is she really acting or is yeah. is she just like tapping into what she does to her to her boyfriend i mean i wouldn't want to be her boyfriend and no. have her yelling at you like that i mean it was off. like Whoa, she's yeah. seriously unhinged. She's uh, she's an awesome actor. Yeah. Or actress, I guess, whatever you want. Yeah. And she's good looking. Yes. Very good looking. And uh, Kristen Stewart's not too bad either. No, I actually, she's... she was quite acceptable. I thought this was going to be a twinkly, every time you see her, she's going to have like little glitter around her. But uh, no, it was, uh, she played her part really good. So. And, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Pattinson would become sneaking out of to steal the scene? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Robert Vampires Pattinson. should not have <laughs> sprinkly glow around them, okay, no. Twilight people? No. Stop it. No, this wasn't a Twilight. It was definitely, no. uh, it was well done. It yep. adhered to the original story a lot, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, you know, with the addition of some dwarfs, yeah. which we don't want to spoil anything, but, you know, what? so, <laughs> you know, did. but, you know, wow, well, you know, it, it, <laughs> Well, it's no way. You know they're in there. Yeah, yeah. You know they're going to come out at some, at some point. So, but the, everything was pretty cool, like uh, Sanctuary yeah. and, and all that stuff. So, I don't know. I, I think I'd give it an 8, to be honest with you. Yeah, I would probably say an 8 for me. I don't know much about fairy tales, so I kind of forgot about the whole story other than I knew she was going to eat an apple and get knocked out there for a while. And then Prince Charming comes. Is that Rapunzel? Or is that no, no, way? it's it's... Well, it's about six or seven of them, isn't oh, it? Oh, I don't know. I know somebody kisses her <laughs> but, and she comes well, yeah, back yeah, to yeah, life. But yeah, basically, I, yeah. I didn't, I didn't so. research my uh, fairy tales before I went and saw this. So I was just going by what I knew from a youth. And I didn't even think they were going to put that in there. Yeah. To be honest with you, that, that's like that's really kind of not even not, that's not even a, an eighth of the story, really. Yeah. But so, but they managed to work that in there too. Yeah. Which was so kinda, it was well done. It was really was well good. done. Yeah. And Mirror Mirror was pretty cool too. He kind of had that uh, Darth Vaderish kind of feel to him but uh, it was pretty cool he liquefied oh yeah the the mirror voice yeah he, he reminded me of the guy that the the, the Loch Nahr out of, yes, uh, out of uh, heavy metal yeah, that's, yeah. that's what that voice kind of reminded me of yeah. I don't know it was sort of yeah. but uh, I don't know I kind of like it yeah yeah and Charlize Theron she looks good whether she's covered in black goo or white milk I mean yeah, white milk she is just sexy so but uh, yeah. yeah this is definitely worth one checking out for sure check it out mm -hmm. what do you give it oh well, say? I think we said both yeah, gave both, it an eight. Both, both an eight. Yeah, it was, eight. it was a surprise. It was, uh, for me anyways, I, I didn't think it was going to be very good. I thought it would be okay. Actually, I don't know. You know what? I thought it was going to be pretty good because the trailer looked awesome. But how many times have we been duped into believing a movie is going to be good because of the trailer? And you all know what I'm talking about. So, but yes. no, it had, this one actually lived up to the hype. It was uh, actually pretty well done. So yeah, I'd just give it a solid eight. An eight. You yeah. heard it here. An eight it is. In the dungeon where we fight evil.
no matter how we have to fight it. Swords, machine guns, <laughs> paratroopers. Are we ever going to take the price tags off these swords? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for tuning in to episode 37. Uh -oh. 37. Uh, 30, yeah. 30. 30. All right. Uh, okay. And uh, make sure you tune in for some more. And uh, if you like what you see, subscribe to yep. the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Become our subscription slaves. No, I'm just kidding. We won't feed you any apples. And uh, yeah, let us know what you like and uh, stay scared. Yeah, you too. Bye bye. See ya.